Welcome to Curiosity Gameplay with Rebel Weasel. We're going to discover the four different ways that you can increase your bag and bank inventory. First, you can go to a Stable Master. You can find a Stable Master in most major cities by looking for the giant horse's head. When you talk to the Stable Master, you look like you know your you way around a riding beast. That you have Try a horse one of equipped. my fine mounts on for size. So first, you open you for collectibles and go to mounts, and make sure that you have a mount check marked. For Margaret, I've check marked my Palomino horse. Now that you've got a mount selected, you can go to the Stable Master and speak with him. Best mounts in all of Vardenfell, right here. Come in and see what's available today. You view the stable, and you have two different slots. You have buy, in which you can purchase horses, and you have riding trainer. Under riding trainer, you want to train carry capacity. Carry capacity increases your carrying capacity for your bag space. It will go up to a maximum of 60 points. So for every point that you spend in carry capacity, you will get one extra slot in your bag space. As you can see, Margaret's trained two times, which means that her bag space should have a default amount of space plus two. You can train your horse training every 20 hours, a little bit less than every 24 hours. So if you really stay on top of it, you can get things done within 60 days. You'll have full maximum extra slots, 60 slots in your bag space. It costs 250 gold each time you train your, 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 uh, your horse. The other options are to train for speed and stamina. I always train for carry capacity first. So looking at my bag space, you can see that I started with 60 slots and now I have 62. Now we'll go on to the second way that you can increase your inventory space by in increasing your bag space at a bag merchant. Um, finding the bag merchant in Vivek City is a little tricky, but there is one. It's called a pack merchant. Looking at the map, General Goods Merchant. Oh, here we are. You can see that there is a pack Open merchant over on the St. Olms the Just Canton. We'll see if I can find it without getting lost. Somehow I don't think it's in the Brewers and Fishmonger stall. Let's just check. Nope, this is the wrong spot. Here we are. Pilgrimage Packs.
bugs and mushrooms as big as houses and guaranteed to scare the stripes off a kitten. <laughs> this one doesn't know what in the name of John and Joe the Dark Elves were thinking when they decided to live in this bizarre land. By the way, do you need a bag? So when you go to a pack merchant, you click buy backpack upgrade. And it will tell you that you will increase your inventory size in your bag space by 10 more slots. The very first the very first time you increase it, it will cost 400 gold. We're going to talk to him a second this time. This one doesn't know what to think about his Telvani customers. On one paw, they keep people like me as slaves. On the other, their pouches overflow with more gold than this one has ever seen. What to do? What to do? When you buy the backpack upgrade the next time, it's increased from 400 gold to 2,000 gold. So every time you buy 10 more slots for your backpack, the amount of gold that it costs will increase. This one brings satchels and backpacks from the far corners of Tamriel. And each and every one is perfect for your carrying needs. Let's do without the usual haggling and get right down to the exchanging of gold and product, yes? 5,900 gold. Bugs and mushrooms as big as houses and garren- 11,000 gold. I usually stop at 19,000 gold, which is, I believe, the next one. This one doesn't know it. 19,200 gold. There we go. I now have 112 slots in my big bag space. It costs quite a bit of gold, so you do it as you level up. Let's make our way back to the bank, and I'll show you how to increase your bank space. Here we are at the banker. House Halalu maintains this fine financial institution. Your gold and precious goods won't find a safer home anywhere in Tamriel. I give you my word on that. As you can see, I've stuffed my bank pretty full. One of the things to remember that's important about your bank is that it is shared across your account. That means that all of your characters are using the same bank space. Therefore, if you're trying to gather up more than one set of gear for some of your characters, you're going to fill up your bank space very quickly. Uh, currently, as you can see, I have actually already upgraded my bank space. I can't remember what the default number of slots that you get are, I'm sorry. Um, but my current bank space is 360 slots. You can increase your bank space by buying bank space at the banker under the Withdraw tab. You'll notice that if you're in the Deposit tab, you can't increase your bank space. You have to do it under the Withdraw tab. Sometimes that'll get you caught. You'll go, wait, I can't see where to buy the bank space, and you'll realize you're under your Deposit tab. So we're going to go ahead just for whatever sake and buy bank space for 60,000 gold. As you can see, it will increase my bank size to 60 more slots. If you are an ESO Plus member, it doubles your bank space while your ESO Plus membership is active. That means I'm going to get 20 more slots. So instead of 370 slots, I should get 380 slots. And there we go. 
380 slots for my bank space. So that's how to increase your bank space. There's one final way in which you can increase inventory space for your characters. And that is through the crown store. This actually costs money. You open the crown store and go to upgrades. Let's see, and under upgrades you open inventory. You can buy a bag space upgrade or a bank space upgrade. Each one of them costs 1,000 crowns. Now crowns cost actual real money. You have to buy crowns from the crown, from the website um, using cash and then you get these crowns that are your in-game credits. Um, so it's questionable whether you want to actually spend cash money on increasing your, your bank and your bag space. There is one final, final way to increase your carry capacity, and that is by purchasing the Bristleneck War Boar. As you can see in the, in the tooltip, it says it's, uh, it can carry gear, providing it with its favorite fungi is, is small manner. Uh, purchasing this pet increases your inventory capacity by five slots on all characters account wide. To the best of my knowledge, you don't have to have the boar out um, to have increased your character capacity by five slots. But let's go ahead and let's buy this boar and let's see. First, let's check. My inventory is 112 slots. Next, we'll purchase the boar. And now we'll look at my inventory. It's now 117 slots. So even though I don't have the boar out as a mount, as a non-combat pet, I have received those five slots. And as you can see in notifications, I've been updated with the Bristleneck War Boar Collectible. So that is the fifth way that you can increase inventory for your characters. And that's all. Thank you for joining me. You're on Curiosity Gameplay. I sell to the nobility.